to film with friends Missing VHS videotape repeating Welcome back. Today we're looking at this ginormous box set. The 20th century. Obviously it is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 tape set. It is from the year 2000 from MPI Media Group. Which when we saw this in the haul video. Uh, we discovered they're just sitting right here on this shelf. Was another MPI release. Henry II, Portrait of a Serial Killer, Mask of Insanity. Which I need to find out if the original Henry was also MPI. Uh, I'm not sure how many MPI releases I have, but uh, it was fun to discover that I had one just sitting right there. 1900s, The Seeds of Progress. 1910s, The Modern Age Begins. 1920s, A Decade of Contradictions. 1930s, The Great Depression. 1940s, War Recovery and Rebirth. 1950s, Promoting the American Dream. 1960s, A Global Revolution. 1970s, Power Plays. 1980s, A Decade of Decadence. Ugh. 1990s America's Hard Drive. Check out that sweet phone. Teenagers today would kill to have a phone like that. It's so strange. They love our crappy tech. But uh, this box set was, I think, $2.99 at a Savers. So I thought it was a good haul. I, I hit, I'm 41 now. And so as you hit, like, you know, your late 30s, early 40s, you start getting interested in history and reading books about World War II and getting into stuff like that. But I've always been a big fan of, like, um, history in its own way, especially local history. I've been getting into a lot of local history about Kansas City. I like looking up old pictures of like places that I know now and what they used to look like and reading the history about why places are named the way they are. Um, especially because one of the theaters I used to run as the head of projection was in this old building that was originally called the Empire Theater. And then it became, uh, how was it called in the 80s? Something else. It was like a big opera house theater from like built in like 1921. And then the 50s, it was a movie house. And then it had like Cinerama. The AMC had it for a little bit. And then the 1980s, it was like abandoned and just like almost falling apart. And then the mid-2000s, AMC took it over, rebuilt it, and then didn't really do much with it. So then Alamo Draft House took it over. And then I started run, running it, the film projection there. So it was kind of cool, especially because in that theater, which I mentioned before, that theater, the Empire Theater in downtown Kansas City is where Halloween premiered on and originally in 1978, so I was able to run Halloween on 35 millimeter in the original building where Halloween first debuted, you know, 30 some years before, because this was like 2014 when I ran it. Anyway, history is cool. I like looking at old pictures of buildings like that and seeing pictures of that building from way back when. Uh, nevertheless, history is cool. VHS is cool. History on VHS is cool. Uh, if you guys have seen any of these, let me know. It looks like each one's about an hour, an hour and a half long. I actually probably will end up watching these, or at least have them all while I'm doing something else. But like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.